So, David, you know, something happened to me that it kind of relates to our little jug band days, and it also relates to the mandolin. Because I got this phone call one day. I had been uh, doing a session with a young woman from Indianapolis, and she called me back after this session. She said, you know, I, 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 I know that uh, you, you didn't, didn't really kind of focus when I said it, but um, I, I got somebody here that uh, I really want you to talk to. Um, and I hear the phone, you know, kind of being passed, and I hear this, this great old, like a, like a good old instrument, I mean, this guy's voice, he says, hello, <laughs> this is a Yank ratio. And I, I said, I mean, I thought, I, I'm going like, this guy can't be alive. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the math, I'm doing the math, I'm going, okay. Uh, John Estes records in the, like the middle 20s. This guy can't be alive, can't be alive. I'm thinking, you know, the guy was probably 20, 18 or 20 when he goes out on the road. Uh, he's gotta be 100 or maybe, you know, whatever. <laughs> Well, he was still going. He was 86, and the, it, that's, it, it worked out. So all I could really actually think of to say out loud was, well, you know, Yank, we got a lot of great guitar players up here in New York City, but we don't have anybody that can touch you on the mandolin. And Yank says, well... You tell me where to come. <laughs> it was like a challenge. <laughs> and I immediately, I called Fritz first. And I called a really good engineer. I called Jimmy Vivino. And we all went out, and, and Paul Rochelle and Annie Rains. And we went to Indianapolis, and we got to record with Yank. And it was an incredible session. He, it was so much fun. And we played for three hours, three and a half hours, and we started to run out of stuff. And I came up with, uh, I thought of Wild About My Lovin', which was, you know, this was a tune that, that uh, the Lovin' Spoonful learned and put on their first album. So we played Wild About My Lovin', and after the tune, Fritz Richmond, who is kind of a historian guy as well as everything else, goes, well, gee, that uh, was uh, kind of a, that was a Jim Jackson tune, wasn't it, John? And, and Yank, who's been sitting there with kind of like having like a little bit of a senior moment, <laughs> he snaps up. Jim Jackson? That man was a snake. He stole my woman two times. <laughs> so, you know, now we really feel like the New York guys, you know. Oh, no. Now we've bombed. We've... But Yank makes this beautiful recovery. And he goes, y'all know tapping that thing? And none of us, I mean, we look around and know, we don't know, tap that thing. We go, well, it's in F. <laughs> Tapping that thing is easy to do. Got that thing for your particular use. Tap that thing. Tap that thing. Every morning at eight, you can hear me tapping that thing. I was tapping in the morning, I was tapping at night. Tap that thing. Tap it just right. Tap that thing. Tap that thing. Every morning at eight, you can hear me tap that thing. 
Well, so we try to join in, you know, and every time that Yank says tap that thing, we go, tap that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yank says, no, nah, no. Nah. Y'all don't say tap that thing. I say tap that thing. <laughs> you all say, great God Almighty. So I woke up in the morning, I was feeling kind of bad. I tapped that thing, and I got mad. Tap that thing. Tap that thing. Every morning that a chicken hear me tapping that thing. Go on, tap that thing. David had a falling out, but you all don't know what that was all about. He was tapping that thing, tap that thing. Every morning at eight, you can hear me tapping that thing. Yeah, tapping that thing, it's easy to do. You got that thing for your particular use. Tap that thing. Tapping that Thank you. Tapping that thing is 